Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 video with Realm of Magic release information as well as some highlights from Friday's live stream. We also got a gameplay trailer on Friday which had some high level details which were delved into more detail in the live stream. To start with, Realm of Magic is a game pack and as such it's not available for pre-order. It does release for PC Mac on Tuesday, September 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific, which I have a chart up on the screen there, which has four different locations. So if you are in San Francisco or on the West Coast, that is 10 a.m. Pacific, and it shows some of the other locations where it would give you an indication of when it will come live for you. I will have a link to a time zone converter down below if you're not included in any of those places so you can try and look it up and find out when it releases for you. Before that, the Game Changers already have early access and the embargo for their content lifts on Monday, September 9th at 8 a.m. Pacific, so you will see things popping up from those game changers around that time. The live stream itself went quite deep dive into the information on the pack. It covered create a sim, it covered gameplay, and it covered build by objects. So with respect to create a sim, the items available are only for teen and up. Essentially, the teens and up use the same things, so that's who it's for. There is nothing for children or toddlers in the create a sim items. So for females, they got four new hair, four new accessories, three new makeup. Males got two new hair and nothing in the other two categories. Now for the body, the females got six tops, four bottoms, eight full body outfits, five accessories, and two footwear. Males got eight tops, two bottoms, four full body, no accessories, and three footwear. Or that was what was shown. Of course, you can lift the gender tags and then they can have all of it available for all of them. There are no, there are no tattoos, no skin details, and no hats. We did not get any new traits. We did get two new aspirations, both of which are knowledge aspirations. One is to follow sort of the potion making and the other is to follow the spells. There is a new trait, but it is one that you need to have when you're born. And essentially, it's a bloodline trait. So that's why it's not something you can choose in Create a Sim. Along with the gameplay information, we also got some information about the worlds, the two worlds, Glimmerbrook and Realm of Magic. So for Glimmerbrook... There are five lots in total, which we already knew. Four are 30 by 20 and one is 40 by 30. We have one empty lot, which is close to the magic portal. You have one starter home, one venue, which is a bar, and two built and occupied homes. One with a family with the magic bloodline trait, if you want to play with that right from the get-go. If you have seasons, the integration with that is that there are four seasons in Glimmerbrook and that includes winter and there are collectibles in the area they showed some frog spawn sites and when I was looking when they were going over I think I saw some fishing which makes sense because you need some you need collectibles to do potions with respect to the realm of magic world there is a backstory there are like different little islands in the space and there was a vortex tearing the world apart and the three sages had to work together to stop that from happening. You can travel between the islands in three ways. You can use the portals that are there, you can use a broom, or you can use the teleport spell once you've learned that. Uh, the different islands, a few, the Magic HQ is a 40 by 40 lot that can be edited with the BB enable free build sheet However, you can't change the lot type, which is Magic HQ. There is Caster Alley, which has three places to buy things, such as potion ingredients, wands, broomsticks, spell books, familiars. Though items available to buy will change daily, so you do need to go back and check back if you want to get them. You can also get the items in the, um, if you unlock the show hidden objects cheats, they're available there too. There is also a dueling ground, but you can duel anywhere, but there is a dueling ground that you can use there. Now, with respect to seasons, there is no weather or seasons in the realm of magic world. So they also went over how to become a spellcaster. And of course, to start with, you can just create one in Create a Sim. 
You can also have a Sim who has the Rite of Ascension ability turn another Sim into a Spellcaster. But what they did do is they showed um, how you can, if you don't have either of those, do either of those two things, how you would go to one of the Sages to turn your Sim into a Spellcaster. For the third way, your Sim will be given Temporary Moat Sight, which is the ability to find moats. And then they will be asked to get seven moats and turn them in. Then the Sage will turn your Sim into a Spellcaster. But they'll be a beginning Spellcaster, so they won't really have any skills. They won't know anything. And they'll just be starting out, essentially. Now, you can go back to being a normal Sim. And if you do, if you happen to have any curses, that will remove them. Once you're a spellcaster, here are some of the details. Their needs are actually the same, but they have a ball that shows their spellcaster charge. So you can see there on the screen, you have like a regular charge, then you have a charge charge, and then you have an overcharged. And the more full the ball gets, the more powerful the spell, but the greater the chance of failure. If it gets filled all the way up, the spellcaster can die if they don't have a familiar summon to protect them, which is the new type of death in this pack, death by spellcaster overload. But a familiar, if they're summoned, will protect them from dying. As a spellcaster, you'll get a spell book and a spellcaster perks chart that denotes what special abilities your sim has. There are different paths and you need to level up to access higher items. Same with the spells. The spells also require that. So up on the screen there you see what their um, needs looks like as well as their spellcaster perks. This is one that is filled because they were playing with two sims. One who was new that they had turned into a spellcaster and one who was an existing spellcaster who had learned all of the spells and had a lot of points that they had used and bought various perks. Now with the perks chart, there are like different tiers. So the middle one, which this particular sim didn't, hadn't really followed, is the potions one, but there are different ones, but you have to unlock the one below to go to the one above. But there are also just some regular perks on the side that just don't require anything below. They just require you to be at the level that you need to be to get to them, which corresponds sort of how the chart looks. So now there are different types of magics. There are three types of spell magic, practical, mischief, and untamed. And you can see on the screen there the number of spells there are in each of the categories. There are 24 spells in total and there are 15 potions in total and that will be tracked in your new spell book which you can see there on the screen. It has like a cover sheet and it gets updated as you learn them. It'll top up and show that you know so many spells and then we can go into the actual individual parts it'll tell you which ones that you know you do not know what the spells are until you unlock them so it's like question mark question mark until you unlock them and then they will get filled in there are 10 curses and usually the curses happen if you fail at things and they show that in the live stream and a sim can have up to three at one time so that didn't show on this book and it didn't show on the um it's it's not like the weaknesses with vampires where you have to pick your weaknesses it just happens kind of like the get famous quirks except for they don't seem to show up in any of these things they just have them but you can cure yourself of them curses happen to your sim you can't curse other sims but you can give sims hexed potions if you have that ability unlocked which was like at the top tier of the potions line you can make a potion and you can purposely essentially make it like a failed potion which then will hex <laughs> the people it'll have a failed result now you cannot actually cast spells on children or toddlers in the game that was a question that was asked and that is not possible and as had already been mentioned essentially you can become a spell caster at at the teen level but um, there is one special thing that children can do there are the three types of spell magic and there are the three sages which are work together to keep the world from essentially falling apart altogether. And so essentially there's a mischief, practical, and untamed sage. The sage for untamed magic is Morgan, the sim from the first trailer, which shows how he became a spellcaster. Now sages can become friends and romantic interests. However, if you marry a sage, they stop being one and get replaced by someone new. I, you cannot play as a sage. And one other point is that 
spellcasters are not immortal unlike vampires so they will not uh, live forever unless you use the potion of immortality now the other thing is is that there are 11 familiar types 10 of which were shared and can be found on sims community which i have them down below you can have more than one and you can name them but you can only summon one at a time but you can have as many as you want and there's a screenshot the sim in the live stream had all 11 of them and the one that's highlighted there is the fairy type which wasn't in the icons essentially that were shared on sims community if you do have cats and dogs they can become familiars and as well as acting as the familiar that come with the pack the cats and dogs can be sent to forage for potion ingredients familiars can protect from death and this is where um it's uh children do have the ability to have a familiar and they can get the same protection from death they also went over uh the build by objects they i have some details on essentially the regular build by objects and there's much more with cheats as i said the items you buy at the shop was one of the things that you can see and access and buy when you use the um, BB show hidden objects cheat. So for the regular buy, there were 61 buy objects, which included a seed packet. There are two new plants, mandrake root and valerian root, which is used when you're making potions. A few of the objects are functional off the grid. There was the stove, there was a few of the lights, and the two cauldrons were all functional off the grid. For build items, there were four pre-built rooms, six doors, six windows, four wall coverings, i.e. like tile and paint and that type of thing, two flooring and two fences and one gate. And I'm just really doing a high level of what's in the regular. There was a lot of stuff available if you use the cheats and you have the two levels of cheats. You have just the regular show hidden objects cheat. And then you have the next tier that we got in the recent patch that shows the ones that are essentially environmental objects, which just like any other environmental objects, your sims may walk through them and all those normal things. So they did show the new death type and there is a new uh, gravestone slash urn to go along with that new death type, which as I said, was death by spellcaster overload. I don't know that it happens that easily because they were sh trying to show the sim, you know, get charged. And then just at one point they just cheated it and used to cheat to <laughs> have him die by that way but he was getting looked like pretty close so just to summarize again the game pack comes out on pc mac on september 10th at 10 a.m pacific it comes out to console on october 15th i am very excited to try out the new game pack even more so now that i've watched the live stream and watched the trailer let me know what you think but that's going to be it for this video thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time bye this has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.